Rolk, the first disciple from Destiny 2 who likes to destroy everything. Space Godzilla, the menace from the Heisei movies who also likes to destroy everything. Who wins in an equal stats fight to the death? Let's find out. We will set a condition for the fight. The condition is, Rolk will have the upended and it will be fully charged, and Space Godzilla will have the Crystal City. Obviously, since stats are equal, we have no need to cover scaling jargon, so we will not cover scaling jargon. Let's quickly cover Rolk. Rolk can deploy a giant shield, he has a paracausal clone, he has an energy blast called the Sons of Lubre, he's a darkness master, he's a glaive master, he has flight, he's incredibly petty, he has something called the Disciple Armor, which protects him from damage and grants him additional hacks resistance, not that he couldn't already, but this makes it even easier to resist hacks, and most importantly, it protects him from stab attacks, although there is weak points in the body from the Disciple Armor. And finally is Rolk's super weapon called the Upended. The Upended, although simple in function, is quite deadly. It reverses and inverses the target. The reversion and inversion is so potent to the point that the target will kill themselves upon being hit by the blast. Up next is Space Godzilla. Space Godzilla has flight, beam attacks such as the Chrono Beam, energy absorption, shields using his shoulders, something called the Crystal City which drains energy, telekinesis, and he can stab you with his tail. He's the size of Godzilla, he's exactly like Godzilla in that his flesh is essentially armor, meaning that touching the flesh will do nothing. His cells survive the explosion of a black hole, so gravitational manipulation doesn't work on him. And like Rolk, he's pretty petty. Alright, so how'd the fight go? It'd take place on a random city on the planet Earth. Space Godzilla would already have the Crystal City deployed. Rolk would have the upended ready to go. Rolk would likely deploy the shield, and then put down the clone to see how he'd do against Space Godzilla. The clone would struggle against the energy absorption, the shield, the Crystal City amping Space Godzilla, as well as the tail stab and the kaiju flesh making it really annoying to hurt Space Godzilla. Space Godzilla would then put down the clone. Rolk would then go for the upended and destroy the Crystal City, and possibly the planet Earth. At that point, it would force the two into a one-on-one -on -one fight. In a one-on-one -on -one fight, Rolk would more than likely act arrogant until he's forced to go for full power. Until then, he would more than likely go for energy blast against Space Godzilla. Space Godzilla would either redirect the blast, or take them and absorb the energy from Rolk, which would allow him to penetrate Rolk's barrier. Rolk's agent experience would allow him to see that Space Godzilla has ways of ignoring his energy blast, either by redirecting them or by absorbing them directly. This would force Rolk to go for close combat. Rolk's agent experience, along with his mastery of glaives, would allow him to dart around and dodge attacks from Space Godzilla and use his superior skill. However, Space Godzilla's flesh would allow him to ignore attacks from the glaive even if they would hurt. This means that Rolk is forced to go for judo attacks such as grabs, throws, trying to go to break the neck, or trying to break the shoulders with the glaive. He'd also have to go for surprise attacks and deploy the clone again to go for surprise attacks to try to get around the shield. What I think would happen is inconclusive, simply put. It's a Disciple Armor versus Space Godzilla's skin, that's the main issue. Even if we say the shield is broken, Space Godzilla's skin should still act as a buffer between him and Rolk's glaive. At the same time, Space Godzilla's telekinesis and other hacks abilities is not getting through the Disciple Armor. It come down to which one breaks first, and we have no way of seeing which one would break first. It'd simply be inconclusive. There is no way of arriving to one result without discussing the other, and by proxy of that, it's a mess. So, 50-50. If you were to be forced to go for a conclusion, here's what I would say. Rolk's Disciple Armor doesn't have as many weaknesses as, say, Space Godzilla's Fletch. Space Godzilla can be overpowered if he absorbs too much energy from someone stronger than him. 
The problem is, he's either equal to Rolk or stronger than Rolk in the fight because stats would be equal at a baseline. This means we're back to square one. Honestly, that's it. That's all I really had to say for the video. I thought this would be way longer, but it would just be way more annoying and it would just go down to a ramble session which would go nowhere. So anyway, if you guys like this quick little video, please let me know, like, share, and subscribe. And uh, if we get to 70 likes, I will do a video on Destroyer vs. Space Godzilla. Anyway, I hope you'll like my Godzilla stuff because I'm planning on covering more monster content on the channel. Uh, you know, like, share, and subscribe if you want more of that stuff. And please let me know what monster topics you want me to cover. And uh, I'll see y'all later. Peace!